It's almost seven years ago that I was standing in this exact same spot with a Honda Civic Type R drooling, declaring my undying love and desire to marry the Championship Edition. Well, lots has changed since then. Today, I celebrate my three-year wedding anniversary. Thank you very much. Uh, this is baby number two. Honda has also spawned a new baby. This is the all-new Civic Type R. And I wonder if I had married the old one, would I be getting the seven-year itch for this one? Everything about the Honda Civic Type R is in your face. And come to think of it, Marius has been pretty in your face with Gugu about his lap times around Swartkops for GT laps of late. Perfect excuse then for a track challenge. I don't mean to be talking, but uh, we're getting competitive here. The boy needs to focus. Hey, the car goes, eh? I think I might have been a little bit too aggressive going into turn four. Too hard on the brakes, scrap too much speed. Gonna need to tidy things up from here in. Oh, brake's gone. That wasn't so good. And also maybe it's better with the traction on. I must admit, in my little drive around earlier, I uh, just pushed R mode, plus R, and I just assumed that that would uh, cut out most of the driver aids. And to be honest, we didn't feel any driver aids getting involved. And then I discovered the traction button and uh, thought for the hot lap, let me turn it off. But uh, maybe that wasn't the wisest thing to do. I think that time was slow. We managed to pull it off. Marius and I competing hard on the brakes. For the hairpin, a little bit of understeer. Easy does it, and we accelerate. I wonder what Marius is doing here. He said he had all the bells and whistles on and off, so I guess we'll just have to follow suit. Let's see if we can make this puppy go. Come on. And turn it in. That was very untidy of me, but anyway, very untidy lap there. Oh my word, I reckon I've lost it right just on that corner alone. And even right here on the tabletop, going off. Let's ease it, tighten it up. 
Come on, come on, baby. Come on, come on, go. Go. No, I think I lost it. A little bit too much. Try a little too hard there. Was a little bit all over the place, but you know what? May the best man win. I gave it a go. Um, on the long fast sweep going to the top, I went in a little bit too early on the brakes, a little bit too aggressive, maybe. Lost the momentum going up the hill. At the top as well, locked up a little bit. Tried to neaten it up, went out wide, and obviously on the last bend, I went slightly wide onto the rumble strip, so I couldn't get on the gas. But anyway. No excuses, I had a good time, I tried it out. Now to wait for the results. Who has won? <laughs> anyway. Googs, you, uh, you won the launch. So you, you've driven this a bit more than me, but what a machine. It is an absolute beast. I mean, this thing, initially, you know, when you think about it, Honda, I, I was not really, you know, excited about it. I thought it was just another Civic and yeah, so what? But mind you, when I got behind the wheel, I was actually super thrilled and, uh, yeah, I actually took notice. And there's been so much hype and build up around this fourth generation Type R that they really had to deliver the goods. And I think they have. It's flipping, it's, it's really impressively quick. Now it is super quick and uh, you know, initially for me, the, the Hondas have always had this high revving engine and uh, I never took a liking to it because I needed some more oomph earlier yeah. on. And so this one is a total different mix. It's a completely new, new way of doing things and I think oh, the delivery of power it. is just phenomenal. This is unusual for the Japanese. So it's a two litre VTEC but they've slapped the turbo into it. And I found I me mean, now in this hot lap mm -hmm. around the track. Didn't really have to change gears very much. It's all excitement. It just explodes inside that engine bay and it actually just gives us a lot of vooma, you know. We've got to put it in perspective. Mm. 225 kilowatts on the front wheels is insane. And when you think Ford Focus, RS and the GANs, they've all got their, whether it's Revo Knuckles or whatever they call it. <laughs> you know, Honda's done the same thing. They've tricked out their front suspension, DF dual front stave, whatever it does. Whatever it does, it does flipping yeah. well because Torx Gear is eliminated, they reckon 55%. On the track, it works well. Actually, you actually feel it because initially you think, okay, I'm coming into this corner quite hot. I can't throttle in because it will understeer no. or it will start torque steering, you know, and it's not. In this case, this thing actually just turns in nicely and the back wheels just follow nicely without actually pushing the nose too much. They've spent a lot of time, I think, with their, their dampers as well. I know, like, cars like the Audi R8, you know, you've got adaptive dampening. They've got the plus R button, which is the one we obviously played <laughs> with. The magic button. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. That's what we're playing <laughs> with on track. And it firms things up by some 30%. Yeah. Probably not ideal to drive with every day on the road, but mm. on a track, it's what you want. I think on the track, it's exactly what you want. But let's be honest, you know, a guy who buys this car is not going to go and drive around town and just chill and relax. You know what you want. Yeah. In this car, you need, it, it's a track car. Yeah, it's, it's, it's pure estate. It's an amazing piece of machinery. I just... Wow. You love Honda. Well, well done. Now, you, you spend a lot of time testing cars, GT laps. What time do you reckon we did? I reckon which it should have been like uh, late 14s. Should we find out? Let's try it out. Let's check it out. Let's, Let's call see. the Please. boss. Tell us, relieve us from this tension. <laughs> oh. There's no doubt the Honda Civic Type R belongs in the number one box. But since we're doing this as a challenge, it's who is number one between Marius and Gugu. Because we always do this around Swartkops, and it's always Gugu first. It's Gugu's time. Your time was one minute, 14.65. 14. 14. Oh, oh no. The Six one five. minute 14.40 14. belongs to Marius. Oh, <laughs> Marius. But that's nice one, close. champ. Nice well, one. Good. That is close. Congrats. Jeez. So you have earned very, 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 very tiny ragging rights. You know what, Vince? Sometimes it's good to give other children a chance. <laughs>